What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Sean. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Bang! So, today we're gonna be talking about how, like, what was my experience of getting into the military? How did I get it started? What was it like first getting in? How, what was the process of getting in? And like, um, like, uh, like my first experience, like, like, I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I didn't even know that there was such thing as a process before basic training, and it, it was called reception. I'm gonna fill you guys in on the information. Until then, I'm gonna see you guys in a minute. I gotta go do something, but I'm gonna be right back. Peace. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Sean. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna go over how, well, what was the process like getting into the military? Break that down piece by piece. First, we're gonna start with why. Why, on God's green earth, would I join the military? Okay, listen, your boy did not have a plan, your boy was. Juggling a lot of things at once, man. You know, we're all young and we're learning how to do manage time management and planning and goals and da 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 da. And I had family issues. It's just a lot of juggling at once. Man. I honestly just didn't know. So you know, I did the thing. You know, I caught. I got in contact with the military. You know, I heard things about it. You know, I was a little skeptical about it because like you know he say she say oh i don't know if you can handle it oh this that before. i said hey man it's no time like the present i got down to business and i hopped on to it so what i did was i went home i typed in you know the military and then took me to the go army.com and then I got in, in touch with a recruiter, and that's when my journey began with the military. All right, listen, listen, I know what y'all gonna say. Oh, I know you're recruit. I know you ain't get a job that you want. Bad recruiter, bad recruiter, bad recruiter. Bad recruiter. I had a good recruiter. I was, I'm like most of y'all on here. I don't know if I got supporters that are in the military or the current service, but I don't know if y'all had bad recruiters, but me, myself, and I, I had a good recruiter. You know his name was uh, Sergeant Fig. Hey, yeah, I had a good recruiter. I'm gonna just put like that, man. Hey, I'm gonna try to cut that out. I don't know if y'all heard that, but um, yeah, my sergeant was he, he was good to me. Like, uh, he took me places I need to go. I ain't have a ride. He, you know, he made sure I was I was his main priority. You know. And he didn't just give me any job on the map. He showed me all my jobs after I took the ASVAB test. Oh, let me tell you about the ASVAB test. Listen, plan to get a military. Study. Listen, I don't care. Listen, you're going into your adulthood or wherever. Like, I don't know if you already are an adult or become an adult. But you need to be an adult about this decision. It can change your life for years to come. So you need to make it your main priority to study, 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 study. And then take the test so you can have as many job opportunities as you know as possible hey just a little heads up y'all if y'all hear somebody speaking on the intercom i might cut cut off the camera and then cut it back on because i don't want that in the video they, you know, they, they turn on the intercom and call people downstairs and all that we'll get into that on my ait video but first we got to start from the bottom you know and uh yeah so uh your boy yeah, I had a good recruiter, and um, you need to study and get a good score. I, listen, I suggest y'all get the highest score possible. You can get in any branch you want to. Me, I chose the Army. Honestly, the way things are in the military and the Army, I, would, I'm, I wouldn't have chose any other branch, man. I ain't gonna find it. Like, I like the Army. Now, I, I really can't talk because I ain't seen what it's like to be in the Navy and the Marines and Air Force. I, ain't, I don't know what that's like. I really can't talk. 
But I mean, I'm of course, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bandwagon my my branch all day every day, cause that's all I know. So listen, if you're looking for a branch, man, choose this one. If you're trying to like, if you're trying to like, you know, focus on you know, your career, like say me personally, I when I when I pass my ass, uh, I'm gonna keep going, honey. I got like. 44 or something like that. I, I don't remember the exact number. It was something like that. And I got like four or five job options. Like chapel assistant, um, CDL driver, ass mask. I think it was some type of active job. You know, it requires shooting and all that other stuff. Like, uh, you know, your boy just trying to really like, you know, get a good platform on life. You know, when I say platform, I mean like, you know, kind of have it, have it made in a sort of way to where, uh, sorry, I thought I heard something, but in a sort of way, um, to like, you know, set yourself up in life. Like say you want to, uh, reach out, uh, to do like YouTube and music, whatever you want to do, go to college, you will have, um, uh, money and benefits to back you up. And that's what, you know, that's what I was aiming for. So but my recruiter looked at all my job opportunities and I chose to be yeah I ain't gonna I ain't gonna tell y'all yeah y'all gonna know down the road y'all gonna know down the road but I chose the job that involves uh, the hazmat license and the CEL license but yeah and um my contract three years and uh years and what else okay i had three years oh yeah oh yeah i was looking at my ait and my basic training yeah they were like 10 weeks 10 weeks yeah basically like but it said nine weeks like i'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all it said nine weeks i'm most likely gonna be here for like 11 12 weeks that's another thing y'all need to be aware of what may and may not just because it say 10, 9, we, 8 weeks, that means it's going to be 10, 9, 8 weeks. Hey. And once you sign your contract, you were under if military, down, government, down property, up, yeah. control. Me now, they say you I go. You know, so I wasn't like thinking about that. So I was just looking at numbers. And I'm being in my head. I'm thinking, yeah, it's numbers, man. Like, I'm good, man. Like, if it say that, that's what it's supposed to be. Like, that's on paper. Uh, paper you know, I sign under it. That's what's supposed to happen. That's not entirely true. I'm going to just keep it up on I am not going to tell a lot. But, you know. Uh, so, yeah. I chose the uh, the best job that had the, the lowest basic and the lowest AIT. I was not I was trying to just see what it's like for the first time. Cut. Keep in mind, I will motivate y'all listen if you plan to get in the military please 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 just keep a good mind like you're gonna be in there for a minute if you sign for 10 years that's your 10 years or more so just you know i i i would motivate you to choose a smaller contract just to see what it's like to see if you're into that and then switch your job and choose whatever you want to choose because you can take your ass back again yes you can don't just take it one. I can't ever and, fall. And, you know, go from there and I see you know, what, what yeah. opportunities I've been you have. It all. But yeah, yeah. I've been that's what it happened. All. I, you know, after that, I chose my job. Down, I got ready, to study, to the ad out, passed. Parents excited, parents happy, so parents really, 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 especially my dad, really happy because he was kind of scared. He was like, what you gonna do with yourself this down the court you know what I'm saying so if you don't hey man I feel bad for you and I'm glad you still you know working hard and getting through all the challenges you face but me I had pops and he was always on me and that's good listen if you got parents that's always on you they most likely just don't want you to fail but, um, I'll be right back they called me downstairs I'm gonna have to see y'all okay Niggas been leaving me back. 
Where did that leave off at? Um, I'm pretty sure it was like uh, getting, getting towards to reception. Okay, if you don't know what reception is, which you most likely don't because you didn't do too much research on the military and you're just now finding this video after I actually blown up a little bit. Well, reception is a place that is brushed under the rug by the military to make everything cheesy, okay? And when I say cheesy, I mean look good, you know? Like, oh, it'll be fine, you know? <laughs> you know? They hit you with that contract, then they like, it'll be fine. Yeah, I wasn't told. That's one thing I must say. Cause when I got there, I thought it was basic training. Word on the street, you're not even starting. The first day, I'm like, wow. how long am I gonna be here? That's what they hit me with every time. I, I would ask a sergeant, I'll be like, what's basic training? I mean, well, when's basic training? Like, yeah. You gotta get through here first. I'm like, and, uh, I mean, I understand why now, but it would have been nice to know beforehand, you know? Okay, I, I know I fast-forwarded to reception, but, um, okay, let me tell you a little bit about MEPS. MEPS is a place you go after you pass your ASVAB to do your oath, you know, put your hand on your heart and all that good stuff. And, you know, you get your shots if you need it, you know, they do a full exam on your body. And when I say exam, I mean they just do checkups on, you know, how your bones, teeth, you know, COVID shot and all that stuff. I mean, I never got a COVID shot, but you might, I don't know. But, you know, they do, they go over everything pretty much. You know, it's going to be boring as heck. Don't go to sleep. Listen, in the military, the worst thing in the world you could do is fall asleep on somebody that is instructing you or you like you they I don't know you're gonna sit down and someone's talking to a group of soldiers or trainees whatever the worst thing you can do is fall asleep just at least pretend to entertain like you know that's one thing like you put yourself in this predicament you signed a contract so you gotta give your utmost respect I mean that's how I feel about it cuz last my check if you join a gang guess what you in it, you know, you in it to win it. Like you, you ain't nobody do it but yourself, you know. So if you get caught up, get jail time, hey man, you gonna have to thug it out. <laughs> like, cause that, I mean, you know, that's why I'm not into all that, you know, cause I'm not finna do no jail time for nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, unless it's family, like I love my brother to death. I mean, but then again, that's still questionable. But um, that's. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, basically, long story short, just, just don't go to sleep, like, just practice that, at least, like, if you're bad on falling asleep, practice staying up, because you gon' need it, like, you gon' need it, you, you, you wouldn't, like, you'd be surprised how much trouble you could get in falling asleep, you hit on what, do? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, hey, but, um, yeah, you just go to maps, and you do your old, and, Oh, they tell you what your benefits are and how much money you're gonna be getting if you're getting a bonus or you're not getting a bonus. Cause I mean, honestly, I should have asked more about the bonuses. I could have gotten one had I chose the right contract. Is that for? But it is what it is. Cause you should be getting a, con uh, a bonus if you resign after you do finish your contract. So you got three years and you finish that. You, if you're Godre, you could be given a bonus, which most likely you should, from what, from my knowledge. But you know, later on in the future, I'll make another video explaining that. But yeah, so yeah, you, yeah, blah, blah, blah. okay. At the maps, fast forward. You get ready to leave. You know you, you know, do your workout. Listen, that's another thing. Work out before you go. I'm telling you, when they start making you do push-ups and stand, like they gonna make you stand for hours when you get the reception. 
And okay, let's just go ahead and get down and need a Okay, if you don't know where the reception is, it's a place you go before you go to the train. No, I was never told about it, but it's a place. You know, it's, like, I don't want to tell you that I but apparently reception is a place you go to when you get processed in and and in the military it's a process to get into the military military and it's a process to get out of the military now that i've learned that it's good to know so yeah i was in that process a little process in reception tomato tomato you get and i was there for like a week like a week and two years yeah and they didn't tell me so uh when i was leaving so i was panicking and stressing all the way through so it made the experience a lot more scary i'm not gonna lie i thought i was gonna be there for a week but you know, I don't know what you believe in, but listen, I always had, I always know that God is by your side, and you're gonna get you whatever you want to. Just be smart, and you know, ask questions, and keep a good mindset, and you're gonna get you whatever you're going through. So you know, if you are in this military journey, and you're watching this video to so get, you know, information, hey, listen, just keep your mindset, man, you got it. Okay, and yeah, reception, you, you're going there to get shots, you're going there to make sure you pay for which you're you're going there to get your military ID, you're going there to get your OCPs, aka the soldier fit, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying, the whole jacket, the whole fit, the camo, I don't know if you see, but I got the pants on right now, you know what I'm saying, but yeah, yeah, you get, you know what I'm saying. And then if, listen, uh, I encourage whoever is, you know, in the process of joining, if, like, if you have a chance to, like, rank up before you get in, like, you get to be a private or a private first class or a specialist, go at it. Like, really go at it because that's extra money. And all you got to do is uh, get somebody to join with you or... And like, uh, like they might they give you a website. You gotta take a little test, and you you get ranked up just like that, you know. And I mean, there's other ways to get ranked up. I mean, when you get to basic training, you gotta ask your sergeant how what I gotta do to rank up. And then I don't know what they gonna tell you because I ain't asking. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm still private, you know, fuzzy private. Well, um, you know, we gonna get up though. Um, you know, God, will it, God bless me. Um, yeah, so, yeah, the reception, that's what that basically is, is just getting you ready for basic training. They're going, they, you know, they're going to teach you what, it, what it's all about to be a soldier, you know, they're going to teach you to stay on time, they're going to teach you to, what time to get up, you know, always make a hit time, do, eat fast. When I say eat fast, I'm not joking, like, you really got to eat fast, like, you got to, I'm not, you know, like, you got to eat fast. And, you know, get used to standing a lot. Like a really standing a lot. Like I, I, I can't. I'm not even joking. Like you're gonna stand for hours so at some point in your military career. Just, just, just get through it. That's all I can say about that. You know, just try to sneak in and squat sometimes. I don't know, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Me, I just had to get through. It. But um, yeah. I mean, it's not really much to talk about a reception. You know, you go to the medical clinic. They, oh yeah, they take some of your blood. Uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. You check your eyes, your ears, your blood. Yeah, I think you even check your, you know, your urine. Make sure you ain't out here doing the most. Uh, you know, you. I mean, you get to go to church on Sundays. They, they listen. The one thing they can't do is take your religion, man. You listen. Whatever you worship, man. You always gonna have time for that. Whether it's in the barracks or. At the church, at yeah, at the reception area you're at, you know. Then you're there. I mean, the one thing I can say is reception is literally right next to basic training. That's a good thing about you know the little stress off your shoulders. Yeah, it's right next to each other. So. They ain't just gonna keep you up there because they gonna ship you out. Just make sure you know you're making all you want to get the heck up out of there. <laughs> and um. Yeah, so I mean, after that, we, you know, you go to, you know, you go to basic training, but that's in the next video, man. So you got a little sneak peek, man, but, uh, 
Yeah, reception, it's like jail. I ain't gonna cry. Like, I'm not even gonna front. I hate it. Like, bro, I want to get out of the military. I regret it being in the military. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. Money, money, paper, paper. You know, you get paid. Hey, I will I will give you money information. Listen, you get paid twice. I don't know how to tell you, explain it to you, but you basically get like, like, I don't know, like, if you get like, if you're like a fucking problem like me, you get like 700. And 700. Like you'll get like 700. Beginning of the 700. And then on the 15th. Everybody get paid the same day. Slightly different pay. You know, but everybody get paid the same day. You know, you know unless it's some government issue and no one can pay. But half of that's the best. You know, nah. Yeah. I mean, hey, after this video if you want another video on reception and uh, how to get in and what's the right thing to do what's the wrong thing to do all you gotta do is comment on the video leave a like share and subscribe you know i won't know unless you ask man you ain't asking i ain't telling you know you, you really gotta start supporting me if you want what i know because i'm going through the process as we speak so you know i'm you know, I'm just, you know, I got good intel for you know, I ain't just out here telling you what I used to do. I'm telling you what I'm doing, you know, and then what I'm going to do. Like, I mean, I'll give you that information next, so, like, soon. But, uh, listen, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm in it off here. When the videos be too long, I don't got a laptop like the rest of these famous YouTubers. I got an iPhone 14. I mean, that's pretty good, but... For YouTube, you need a laptop and a camera, and that's like a really laptop really like two thousand. Uh, I can get a camera for a thousand. You know, this is what I'm working with. But uh, enough about me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment down below what you think of the video and any questions you may have. And uh, you know, any questions about the military or what's the next video or how I'm doing. You know, or leave a like, share, and you know, subscribe. You know, just. Yeah, it's a support. You know, that's, that's, that's what we need. That's what we're here for. One of these days, I get enough supporters. I can come up with a name for y'all. Like, uh, I don't know, the Shine Crew. I don't know. I'd be like, all right, Shine Crew, I'm going to see you soon. I don't know. That was a trash name. But, all right. That's the end of the video, y'all. I'm going to see you on the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm out. Peace.